In the heart of Nigeria's capital city, Abuja, lies a hidden world rarely seen by its residents. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the hidden realities inside the most contrasting and complex areas, Papi. A home to over 1 million people and the largest slum settlement in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. In here, you can just enter some of this part of that moment. So you have to be careful. During my visit to Papi, I also visited Cross Rock. A well-loved tourist destination in Abuja is a boat quarry and recreational harbour nestled within the city, renowned for its captivating natural landscape which encompasses a serene lake, cliffs, plenty greenery. This place attracts visitors seeking picnics, hikes and breathtaking views. Over the years, numerous celebrities have chosen Cross Rock as a backdrop for their music videos. Situated just a brief 5-10 to 10 minutes drive from the city centre, Pape is near to Maitama while connecting Nasokuru, one of Abuja's most developed and highly sought after districts. Pape has a rough and rocky landscape, serving as a prominent source for the rocks used in constructing roads and bridges within the city of Abuja. While exploring this area during my visit, I couldn't help but marvel at its high population density. Countless houses dot the slopes of this rocky hill, providing new home for over 1 million residents. This has led to the development of the largest slum settlement in Abuja, Nigeria. So we had to call a friend to tell us around, and this is him. Market was the main buying and selling point of every private person. Yeah. But a few months back, it was demolished. And up to today, there was no explanation of who bought it. Our uh, food is, well, what are they planning to build or anything like this? They just demolished it, fenced it, wow. and that's all. Wow. Everybody's just trying to manage, as you can see, everybody's just trying to manage their, their life. So, where are we now, Papi? We are in this track here. They didn't have like a market here. So, now we are going to Wari Village. Wari Village, yeah. What? This is like the most populated area here. Why is it called a village? based on how houses are just jam-packed together. Walking here, you can just enter some of this part of that moment. <laughs> so you have to be careful. So you mix all these places. No! I think you know, come on. Yeah. I think it's just like a regular thing. So the people here, what's their major occupation? Uh, the indigenous though, they are all farmers. They're all farmers, most of them are males are hunters. Hunters are major, major, they're sort of in control through farming. Right. I think we should go through the Wari Chief's Palace. Wari Chief Palace, Papi Chief's Palace. Okay. This poor Papi has a chief. Yeah, this is a chief. Mm. Yeah, this is Chief's Palace. Yeah. The whole of it. As you can see, the locals are peaceful, they are, they are accommodating. Mm. They don't really, unlike places you go and you need to take permission, yeah. do stuff like that. Yeah. They don't, they don't really care. True. The living conditions here are extremely challenging. Tight narrow walkways, inadequate ventilation and a lack of proper sewage and water facility create a harsh environment. It is difficult to understand the health challenges that people endure while living here, especially with the random dumping of refuse everywhere posing potential health hazard. Additionally, Pape is a host to numerous mine activities which certainly expose residents to a virus health and environmental hazard. I think there was a choir here, yeah. Quiet? Blasting choir where, where Chinese would do mine drugs. That's what it was used for. And it's very, very deep. Very deep. Like, you, you don't even know how deep this is. Who have died here? A lot of people have died here. Not, not one, not two, not three, not four. I personally have a friend with the idea, so.
the population of Pape experienced growth due to the demolition of certain settlements in Abuja a few years ago, as many of the displaced residents choose to relocate to this area. Despite the increasing population in this area, there is a severe lack of basic infrastructure and the living conditions here are truly surprising. The population of Pape experienced growth due to the demolition of certain settlements in Abuja a few years ago. There is an urgent need for the government to establish affordable housing schemes for the average citizen in Nigeria. The high cost of housing in Abuja makes it exceedingly difficult to afford a decent house. Many individuals are compelled to reside in slums like Pape due to the proximity to the city centre. There have been discussions about the government considering demolishing this area without providing a proper settlement options for its residents. The living conditions here are far from ideal. However, since everyone's circumstances are unique, some individuals may need to start their journey here relying on their human skills and resilience to forge a better life for themselves. This is not a story of struggle, it is a story of strength of a community determined to raise above their circumstances. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and remember to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.